All right, so this should be a really good race, I hope. And here we go. Looks like we're starting one south of the fairy fountain in the forest. Now the trick will be finding out where that wood sword is. Wow, take any right at the start. That is always very helpful to find because that means you can get your candle right away and don't have to worry about trying to find a candle shop. Yeah, it also saves those rupees. And it looks like we got a divergence in route here. Tetra's going up to the northeast, while Bobbing looks like he's going down into the forest, probably going towards Vanilla Start, I would think. Yeah, it looks like he's heading back towards Vanilla. Ooh, and we found level 6, down by the Vanilla Start. Yeah, that looks like it's still part of the forest. But you'll notice something different there. It doesn't say level up on the top of the screen. Instead, it says palace. That's one of the newer features in the randomizer that uh, you can change what it tells you. And it looks like we got Wood Sword on Tetris screen. Yeah, very nice find. That's going to enable pretty much now dungeon diving. Yep, that looks like the Blue Candle Shop one, one screen west uh, or one screen east of Vanilla Level 5. Yeah, finding that Wood Sword in less than uh, right around the minute mark has got to feel really good. The yeah, only thing better is when you find it in the first uh, shop you check. And there's four over on Tetris side. Underneath the 30 secret, that vanilla 30 secret, or uh, Armos. Yeah, Bobbin's checking all the burnables, which I do not do not blame for this point. But at this point, I mean, I would be really looking for that sword as well. I agree. I personally will tend to look for as many open caves as I can. I'll get any like candle or bomb spots that I happen to be going past, but I don't go out of my way to check them early. Not the worst medium secret. I mean, it could be better, but... I didn't catch it. Was it 30-something? 30 30, 37. That is almost the max. The max is actually 40. We got another take no, getting on right. Tetris side. But the, the uh... vanilla is 30 for that secret. And the way Fred has it written in the program... It can be anywhere from 25 to 40, I believe. And a level 4 fine for bobbing. I don't really blame bobbing for at least taking a quick look, seeing like, okay, what's here? Wow, hello, blue is robes. Not a nice room. Right. A lot of times, a lot of us will do what we call a Rick 6. We'll go into a dungeon even without having the wood sword yet. And we'll try to not go more than like six rooms, depending on what level it is, to see if maybe we can find a quick item or a quick Triforce. Oh, another take handy for Bobby. Not bad. And oh, and the item is Red Candle, I think that is? Yep, looks to be the Red Candle. Yeah, I apologize if I sometimes struggle on what an item is. I'm not really familiar with Tetris sprites, so... Yeah, Touch of Spice are from Leaks Awakening, so yeah, if you've not really played the game all that much, you're probably not too uh, familiar with them. Yeah, truthfully, I've really only played the original Zelda. A little bit of Zelda 2, and that's about it. It looks like a potion shop at Vanilla 2. Oh, well, it's good to know where it's at. If he happens to get that letter, it would be nice to be able to get a potion. Oh, yeah, and... With where we know level 9 is, that's actually pretty quick to go for a potion if you need to. And there's a question in chat from Antlers44, do we have the Armos item yet? No, we have not seen the Armos item yet. We know it's either going to be the Grave Armos or the Vanilla Blue Ring Shop. Yep, one or the other at this point. Watch that Armos item just be a white sword. Oh, hello 9! What's always fun is when the Armos item is White Sword and the Wood Sword Cave happens to be right next door. I had it in a seat I played earlier today. Oh, wow. Just like, okay then, thank you. Yeah, you always hope that you find the what the Armos before the Wood Sword Cave when that happens. And was that 133 I yes, saw? Yes, 133 for large. Very nice. That is... Very close to the max. Max large secret would be 150, so that's a very good large secret. Let's see if the small secret ends up being one. 
But you know what? If the medium and large secret are good, you're not worried about a very small, small secret. Because yeah, there's only four small secrets in the overworld. That you're finding yet another secret. Oh, small is 19. Not too bad. This is a good money seed, then. This is the kind of seed where blue ring purchase is pretty easily happening. If they don't find red ring first. Yeah, there's good... But, but. It would be an interesting if Amos holds the red ring, because I would really pick it up. Um, I guess that's the letter that Tetra just picked up. It looks to be. So definitely feels good to find that at the, this early, because then you know, well, I have the option to buy potions to go in that nine. And it looks oh, like our white sword item is silver arrows, and it's only four hearts. Wow. Oh, wow. Hello, silvers. Right off the start. That's something that's always a good thing to find early, because not being able to find it right away can be a pain. Now, if somebody, you know, Tetra finds that bow in a dungeon right off the start, yeah, this is going to be over really fast for Tetra. Well, depending on what if ladders right required. Forces. Yeah, that is probably. I think that is the lowest silvers I've seen pick up on White Sword. Last time it was six when I seen it. Yeah, which White Sword item is the, what would in vanilla game it would be the White Sword, and in the vanilla game it's five hearts containers to pick it up. In the randomizer, it's randomized with the flags that we play from four to six hearts, and it can be almost any item in the game. The only exception, of course, is the wood sword and the magical sword. Pretty fast start so far for Tetra. I'm hoping Bobby finds out wood sword soon, but I got a feeling probably Wills. So it looks like he's kind of heading that direction at this point. Yeah, it looks like he's starting to head that way, which is a good thing. Generally, oh. a lot of players will tend to look in that northeast corner first because there's so many open caves. And we got Ladder as our most item. Wow, so this could be a very fast seed. Now, if Bo's found, this could go by really quickly. And there's our any roads. Let's see how they are. Ooh. Ouch. Tough death from the lever there. And yes, as Iron Saw pointed out in chat, it also can't be potions or bombs. Or any other consumable item. Oh, and Tetra finds level 8. Very interesting name to call it, the Abode. Yep, and level 8's one of the levels you don't mind finding early because... I don't know if we mentioned it, but we are using vanilla dungeon shapes first quest shapes, which means all of the dungeons are going to look like they did in the original game. And to answer the question in chat for I'm a Sock, I don't believe Bobby made it to that screen yet. But uh, the other nice thing about finding level 8 is there's two items in level 8. So we could potentially have an important item in here. And if we're lucky, the Triforce will be easy to get to as well. And there's one of our staircases. Oh, I love the way Gleok looks with that sprite set. Oh, and silver arrows for bobbing. Very nice. And what Tetra did there of taking that staircase, that's something I generally do myself, is when I find the transport staircase, I go ahead and try and take it right away so I eliminate a staircase. And that looked like it was going to be an item room, but it was guarded by whiz ropes, which is not fun. Yeah, I don't blame for leaving at that point. I mean, not very many hearts, no ring, blue whiz robes. Nah, time to leave. Unless you're really confident in your combat skills. Ooh, and our bomb prices is max. 40 is wow. the max price for bombs. I don't believe Tetra said they're kind of frustration. Like, nope, I am not buying that. So even though this is a rich seed, that bomb price could come into effect at some point. Right, it looks like Bobbing should be about to find his ladder. Yep, looks to be. Oh, and takes a death right after, but hey, still got the item, so it doesn't really matter too much at this point. So now both 
racers do have the ladder and the silver arrows. So whichever one gets to find the bow first is probably going to be set for being able to get through the seed. But there's always the possibility of a dig dogger block or a requi required item being on a raft spot or in a power bracelet spot. So we're not throw mode if they find the bow, but... And something I don't think we talked about, but the HP of our enemies and bosses are plus or minus two in this flag set. So, for example, the blue moblins in the vanilla game are three HP. So with these flag sets, they can, you can either kill them with the wood sword with one hit, or it might take five hits to kill them. Wood sword at 10, about 1035 for Bob, and... And I'm sure seeing that location, he was probably disappointed in that, considering how close to that area he was earlier. Oh, yes. And, oh, wow, Tetra's got enough for Blue Ring easy at this point. Oh, yeah, with 133 large secret and 37 medium secret, there's a good chance you're going to see Blue Ring get purchased pretty quickly. If they find it. Yeah, if they find it. Oh, here comes the grave check. Oh, and it's level 7. So now we know if it would happen that they get a hint after they find the book that says a feat of strength, it could mean level 7. Oh, nice clock there for Tetra. I mean, at this point, I mean, even though they're low on hearts and everything, pretty much every dungeon's available at this point. They've got a ladder, they've got their sword, so... Definitely probably gonna see a lot of dungeon diving now. Yeah, I would expect at this point to see a lot of going through these dungeons. Like, for example, Bobbing has the uh, compass, so he knows what room the Triforce is in, but the trick is sometimes getting to that room. Yeah, the money-making game for Tetra. Probably not what they were looking for. I'm actually kind of surprised that I'm waiting to see if Tetra's going to make a beeline for that blue ring if they take a death. Oh, hello, Magic Sword. Bobbing going for that uh, clip into the staircase. Very nice. Oh, and it's the transport staircase. It's always the transport staircase. Very oh, yeah. You find the item staircase before the transporter in those levels. Which, for those that don't know, levels 5 through 8 all have one transport staircase. So, when they first go into any of those four dungeons, if they find a staircase, it could be the item, but as in this case, it could be the transport staircase. And 9 has 6 of them. Right, six transport staircases plus the two item staircases for a total of 14. Didn't catch what Tetris spent their money on unless they were paying door penalties. Yeah, I was watching uh, Bob and Surprise. Uh, the question in chat from Darkens10000, she saving Link. I'm not completely sure. I did see her previous race, but I don't remember what the Zelda sprite was. Oh, Tetra bought the meat. Oh, the meat, okay. But I do know Bob and for Fries, who's playing as Zelda, will be saving Link. I mean, this is the Legend of Zelda, right? Correct. Not the Legend of Link. There's a map pickup for bobbing for fries. Oh, uh oh, we might have a little bit of technical difficulties here for bobbing for fries at the moment. Tetra's still overworld exploring. So, Meg Mac Attack in chat is saying they think Tetra is saving Zelda, so we'll find out. Ah, uh, okay. So yeah, it'll definitely be interesting to find out, because I'm kind of curious at this point, too. Yeah, and it does look like we're having technical issues on bobbing for fries issues. 
as in the IRC chat, he did say he's internet's possibly out. So we'll get him back as soon as we can. In the meantime, Tetra is going through the forest area. So we'll see where she's heading next. Looks like she's going to a potion shop. I think she was there earlier. Uh, looks like, uh, let's see what we got here. And a whole lot of nothing. Oh, never mind. Potion shop. That's correct. Anytime you see that where there's no text and you aren't using blank hints, it's going to be the potion shop. Oh, there we go. Bobbing's back. Nice. Looks like still trying to get that Triforce piece. Yep, and actually those prices aren't too bad. They're, I think, slightly more expensive than vanilla. But I haven't seen the vanilla prices in a long time, so I'm not completely sure. Ouch, all that does for Tetra. Yeah, timer is now zero on bobbing, so apparently I had a little bit of technical difficulty. Yeah, it could have been an accidental reset. I've done that many a times. At this point, I mean, it's starting to get to the point that they're going to have to start diving and start getting those Triforces, because both are probably feeling a little nervous, and their opponents probably got one or two by now. And there's a vanilla-type thing. Any, take any at Heart Rock. As that's one of the vanilla locations of the take anys. So, do we blame Fred? I mean, it's supposed to be randomizer, right? And oh, looks like, like it. Bobbing's about to find one of the item in four. Yeah, it's the power bracelet. Interesting. That could be useful, because I'm pretty sure we still have a couple a couple levels that we haven't found yet. Yeah, they could be the raft or power bracelet locked, or even recorder blocked. No Tetra check northeast corner now. Bobbing trying to get through these orange whiz robes. At least they're not blue. I mean, they're pretty predictable. Yeah, generally the red whiz robes are easier to deal with. Uh, because they're less HP and they're not going all over the place. They, When they're moving, they can't hit you. Ooh, not that's always fun. Modifying. Dark nuts and whiz robes in the same enemy set. That's never fun. Hopefully that's not the enemy set for nine. Well, usually by the time you get to nine, you have a little more health. So you have, and sometimes a better offensive weapon. So it may not be a problem. Yeah, it looks like we got some more technical difficulties there on Bobbing's side. We'll just see and wait until he gets back. And so for now, Tetra's still trying to get through level three. Come on, get those bunnies up. Oh, choose to save the room. Good choice. When oh. you're dealing with a hard room like that, it's always a good idea to do that, especially when you have like bubbles and that in there, because it will take and change what what enemy is there. Because the way the game works, it has a set enemies that are going to be in a room in a specific order, and it doesn't pay attention to what enemy you kill. All it does is when you leave the room, it says there was this many enemies left and then it will go by the same order every time. So if you get lucky, your main enemy could be like a rope or something like that that's only 1 HP. Oh, there we go. Bobbing is back. Well, at least if Tetra finds a staircase here, it knows that that is the item. And ouch, hello bunnies. And the bunnies are not too nice either. I mean, you got bunnies in three? Yeah, and they're, until you have bow and arrows, they can be a pain to kill too, because their vanilla HP is 10. 
So with the plus or minus, they could be anywhere from 8 to 12 HP. Yeah, really nasty. There's another one of our any roads. Let's see if we can get to see where the rest of them are. Looks like we got one on the coast draft spot. One of them was definitely... We got two of them on... Uh, on Candle Row, and I don't remember where the third one, wa other one was. And Bob in front of that nice large secret. It looks like the bass were a little high on the hit points. And we got a question in chat from Enigma's Edge. Who's ahead right now? Um, right now, I'd say it's pretty even. Neither player has any Triforces yet. So at this point, it's hard to say who's really in the lead. Yeah, and neither has the bow. Now, if somebody finds the bow, at that point, I would say they definitely have an advantage at this point. Looks like fire is rolled vanilla, so... But ouch! Tetra taking a death here in 3. Well, the thing with fires is... Unless you have... Uh, like, magical sword and wand... You really can't tell how much... How many HP they have... Unless you can kill them with less, less than 8... Damage. Or, less than 4 damage, I mean, I'm sorry. Because whether they have four, five, or six, if you have wood sword or white sword, they're still going to split into into keys. Very nice block up there by Bobbing. And for those that don't know, as you just saw on Tetris screen, when you're in levels one through three, I believe it is. Any wall where there's a room, you can bomb into. Now, the only exception to that is if you find, say, Zelda's room, or there's a staircase on the right, like one that Bobbing just went into, or if you're trying to bomb down and it's an old man room. Other than that, you can bomb into every room in level 1 through 3. And I believe level 4, it's one, one wall you can't bomb. Alright, let's see what the item here is in 3. Looks to be um, Red Ring. Is that Red Ring? That looks to be Red Ring. That's going to be a huge advantage for Tetra there. Yep, that had to be Red Ring based on the screen changing color. And Tetra said they're stabbing for joy. Yeah, keys are not being nice this one. Yeah, having plus HP keys is a pain because the boomerang does nothing to them except make it that you can go through their hitbox. Yep, doesn't even stun. Guys are going for the uh, Gleok kill here. Looks like Tetra got it. And that's what makes the red ring so powerful is when you go from the green tunic to red ring the amount of damage you take from getting hit is split in a quarter so if something normally did, does four hearts to you like for example ganon does if he hits you now once you have red ring it will only do one heart of damage i think that this red ring fight might actually be probably what makes or breaks this for tetra at this point because it's going to make these careers a lot easier than, well, for, say, Bobby.
Oh, an any key find in Palace 8 is not a bad item to find. That's not a bad item to find. It's not the kind of item you're looking for, because you're looking for bow, silvers, ladder, which of course we have two of those three already. But any key, any key or magical keys, I believe it's official name, is always a big find. Well, if they were to, hopefully, we haven't seen uh, the mugger yet, have we? I don't believe we have. So the mugger could demand the keys, and if so, that's free mugger rooms there. Oh, well, hello, Triforce Beast, and we have the first pickup by Tetra around 2526. And as Rick and Leslie Pro were talking about in chat, it's always nice to find any key when you have zero keys, rather than finding it when you have like ten, more, ten or more keys. Yes. Usually, the general rule is if you find yourself getting up to ten uh, keys or more, your next item is probably going to be the any key. And hello, Gleog. This is a really tricky fight for Bobby and being at a heart and a half with no ring. Yeah, if it was a two-headed Gleok, I'd say it's a little bit easier, because I don't remember which route he play he runs in Vanilla, but in the Vanilla game, if you run a certain route, you're used to killing a Gleok with four hearts and wood sword. But that's a two-headed Gleok, so... Yeah, that's not exactly the opponent you want to fight with no ring and a wood sword and only five hearts. And now it looks like Tetra is screen scrolling over to Vanilla 5. Let's see what we got there. And it's just a uh, hint cave, I think? Or was that a door repair? Uh, might have been door repair, because I didn't quite get a good look at it. And Bobby takes a death and eight. Ouch. And I think he's going to grab the Triforce now, because he knows where it is. Yeah, I mean, Ooh, it's, it's right. Oh, it's locked. Ouch, that's gonna hurt. But now, uh, if he finds Bo and needs Triforce pieces, that's gonna be a quick one to grab. Yep. And now, one thing that does do is, if the other seven Triforces are able to be gotten without Bow and Arrow, so if they're not Goma blocked, it could be you can't get that Triforce before going into nine. Because the way the important items in 9 works is if you need an item to be able to get get 5 Triforces, then that item cannot be in level 9. Now I'm curious if Bobby finds 3 first or gets that blue ring first. Because he stopped and really looked at it. Tetra now checking the any roads. Always a little disappointing when you take the any roads and find one a couple screens away from one of them that you took. Because that makes it a little worthless. And we got a bo uh, potion buy for bobbing. Not a bad price either at 64. Yeah, I think that's, thinking back on it, I think that's 4 rupees below vanilla price. Oh, this might be our last large secret, or is it going to be... Think, I'm not sure. I think uh, Bobbing found that one, and I think it was a large secret. So that was the right move there, not picking it up. I mean, Tetra has all sorts of options out of that red ring now. Buy, buy the uh, hints if they find the book. Yep, and it looks like uh, 5 is actually at Vanilla 1. Yeah, very interesting location for 5. And I think Tetra was trying to get that locked door to open, but in order to get that door to open, you would have to be leaving through the right side of that room and it re-entering. Or right. on the overworld, going left and then coming back, but of course, at Vanilla 1 screen, you can't do that. Now, it looks oh, like the Red Gorillas are only 1 HP. Wow, that is just... that's gotta feel good for Bob, I mean, considering... 
for them being a bomb dropping enemy, it's always a good thing when you can kill them with one hit with a wood sword. Oh, and hello, rabbits. Looks like the ra the bull's voices are 10 HP, which is their vanilla HP. Oh, and a death for bobbing, ouch. And as Amasok is pointing out in chat, it's an interesting choice by bobbing to dig level 7. Level 7 is the biggest level outside of level 9. It's 33 rooms, and there's only one item in there, and... So it's not one of the best choices to dig, but sometimes some players will dig it thinking maybe they'll find something important in there and have an advantage over an opponent that's not going to dig that level unless they have to. And Bobby finds the firing squad. Yeah, this 5 is going by in a blink, thanks to this 1 HP Gurias. Yeah, the blue Gurias are definitely not 1 HP, that is correct. Now, it looks like Bobbing is starting to check power rates of slots as well. Which, if he finds, like, a level underneath one of them and, say, Defoe is in there, that is a huge find, because Tetra doesn't have the power rates yet. Wow. So 1 HP for the statues. They could actually also be 0 HP, because I've seen that before as well. That's true, too. If they had the boomerang, it would be the only way to check that, really. Right. 1 HP and 0 HP is the same difference unless you have one of the boomerangs. Well, hello, Manhandla. Manhandle is one of those enemies that you don't mind when it gets minus HP, but whenever it gets plus HP, it's a pain, because vanilla HP is 4. So when it gets plus HP, which we don't know if that one did or not, when that happens, you lay a bomb down, and it just shrugs it off. Yep. So I'm curious at this point if Bobbing's going to go for that blue ring here in a bit, because they do know where the shop is, they've almost got the money. Could this be the item in level 5 in this room? Or is this going to yeah. be the other end of the transport? It's the item! Oh, it's a heart, it it's the heart container. container. Not what you want to see, but hey, might as well grab it while you're there. Blue potion looked to be vanilla price at 48. Uh, I believe that is the vanilla price, and that's another vanilla shot. <laughs> well, at least manhandle is not the enemy blocking the triforce. Although finding multiple bulls voices, you'd almost rather have to deal with the manhandle. Yeah, the... I would not want to run into the bunnies here. Ah, uh, thank you, Ray Brick. It's 40 and 68 for vanilla. Alright, so I was right then. The red potion is 4 rupees cheaper, but then that means the blue potion is 8 rupees more expensive than vanilla. And there's level 1. Alright, so this, we definitely know Bobby's going to go racing around, because there's two items here to find. That's oh, right. and hello, Dark Nuts. We're going to have one one item on the floor. You may have to kill the room to get it, but it will be on the floor. And then the other item will be inside of a trans inside of a staircase. And considering he just found Dark Nuts, there's a good chance. Uh, yeah, we're going to find some Wizard Robes in here. Yep, we'll definitely see Wizard Robes. Which is definitely not going to make this easy to clear. Yeah, 
and there's the heart container. Of course, we found the heart container in five, so we know that's not the item. But Bobbing doesn't know that yet. And a Triforce pickup for Tetra in level five. Bobby nailing those uh, reverse block clips. Yeah, reverse block clips can be very useful, but they're also hard to get the hang of. Like, I think I've only managed to do it once or twice. Generally, you'll see the people that have uh, done the world record route on the speedrun of the vanilla game generally are better at the reverse block clips because you have to use it in that route. I think this screen where Tetra is is where one is. Yep. Yep, so we might get a high five here in a little bit. And hello, Dark Nuts everywhere. I was about to say, that's probably what I would want to do, is just say, nope, I'm out of this room. No, actually what Tetra was doing was opening the bottom door instead of using the key. Oh no, I was talking about over at Bobbing side. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, the, yeah, the, yeah, when you see them go out and back in, yeah, that's pretty much a free open on the direction that they come back in. Works right. in vanilla. Yeah, it works in vanilla. In the vanilla game, the only spot you ever see it is vanilla level one because the top door is locked. But in Randomizer, because we can enter from any edge on the map, you could potentially have any edge that you need to do that on. And the way it works is when you leave the dungeon, the, ga the game believes you just entered the overworld from the direction you went out of the dungeon. So now when you go back in, it thinks, oh, that door is already open, even though you haven't actually opened it yet. Not a bad room to find three blue dark nuts. Bobbing can pretty much sit here and plink away at them. Yeah, when you're gonna have to fight blue dark nuts, this is one of the better rooms to do it in because you can still move around, but you can also sit in a spot where they can't hit you. All right, very good. Bobbin got through that room. Yep, and we actually know, because he has the compass, that the item, or not the item, the Triforce in this level is up in the top corner where, in the vanilla game, would be the bow. And he just found the recorder. So now it makes you wonder what that other item is going to be. Very interesting to see the recorder leading to the bow, a dungeon, a dungeon, and then to the bow. Oh, hello, firing squad of blue whiz robes. Ouch! From what chat was saying, I believe the room where the where the triforce is is another room with lots of whiz robes in. Or is that actually the room that Tetra's in right now? I think it is. Yeah, Tetra looks to be in it and chooses to leave. I see the room. Excuse me. Yeah, unless you have a lot of bombs, trying to fight all those with wood sword, even with the red ring, is not fun. And the Gleok, of course. But we know that Gleok is not blocking anything we need. Yep, so you can just run on by. And of course, Tetra doesn't know that yet, because I don't believe she found the recorder yet. I don't think she did yet, either. Should be the next room north of here, if I remember correctly. And then Tetra getting that nice fairy drop, so this blue is road room coming up should be a little bit easier, hopefully. And yep, Bobbing back in six. Recording for recorder for Tetra. Now, one thing we do have to remember is Tetra does not have the any key yet, so it's possible she might clear extra rooms occasionally to get 
keys, whereas bobbing doesn't need to do that currently. I still say, though, that red ring advantage is going to be big, considering the enemy set of dark nuts and whiz rubs together. Oh yeah, definitely. It's a lot of help to have any ring, but red ring especially when you have to deal with that kind of room. That getting, and it looks like Tetra's getting a nice key stock while going at this point. Did we miss the other item in one? Because Tetra has been in every room in that dungeon. I'm not sure. I think we did. Okay, yeah, it looks like both the item and the Triforce are wizard of block. There was a two-block room, that's right. What? I think it was that room right below where the recorder was. This is about the time I would love to find a white sword. Oh yeah, definitely. But this feels like the kind of seed where the white sword is going to be behind a bunch of whiz robes. Oh, of course. I mean, I just had the amazing seed for the last race for speed, so yeah, we're definitely going to have to have some trolling in this one, you know, it's just got to be balanced. Oh, the monster sprites, you know, those are from uh, Link's Awakening. And Tetra back into one. Just for a hospital stop, or nope, diving in. Probably trying to find the item. Which I would bet she knows what room it is. Yep, she does know. She's killing, trying to kill all the Wizards with the bombs. Oh. Fairy got her. That fairy is good at baiting you when you're in a room with whiz ropes. Yep. Uh, from the question chat from Hot Fuzz Bam F, how do you know if a heart is the dungeon item or not? Um, if you're in levels one or two and you find a heart, it could be the item or it could be the heart container. In this case, we found the heart container in level five as the item, so we know that it is the heart container in this case. And Bobbing picks up the wooden boomerang for his efforts in Palace 6. So at this point, we have Red Ring on Tetris' side. So there's not really much, and we already have Silver Arrows. So until somebody finds the book, there's not really much that people are going to spend money on in this seat. Well, Bobbing could buy the blue ring at some point, but that's the only thing I could see. Right. Well, and of course hints. Like we brought up an ooh, a death for Bobbing, unfortunately, in Palace 6. Yep, but unfortunately, until somebody finds the book, if you buy a hint, you're not going to get anything. Right now, I'm wondering if Tetra's looking for dungeons or looking for a potion shop just to be able to clear that blue wizard room. And there we go. Yeah, I don't blame her for going for the potion because when you're dealing with blue wizard robes, and there's the Triforce pickup for Bob and Fries, but when you're dealing with blue wizard robes, having a potion is a big help. Especially if you can get there with full health as well. Yeah, I would definitely not mind blowing a potion just to get to see what that item is, because it could well be the bow. That's right, and we do know you have to have the bow in this seat, because with these flags, Ganon is required.
I'd be personally happy if it was even a wand or the white sword at this point. Uh, to answer the question in chat, is there a particular route people use at the start of the game? Um, most people will generally look for like the northeast area of the map because that is where you find the most open caves, and the wood sword will always be in an op in an open cave. So generally, the first thing people are going to do is look for the sword. But as we saw at the beginning of this race, that's not always the direction people will go. And I have to agree with Rick here. For Tetra's sake, this item better not be the magic boomerang. That was down to the wire for the potion. Was very well done. Very good clear. Let's see what our item is. <laughs> oh, blue boomerang. Wow. So Bobbin looks like he's going to start delving three. Yep, and if I remember right, that is where the red ring is. Looks like Tetra really wants that Triforce piece. Well, hello! Wow, these blue Wizard rooms. This has been a really devious level one. So we've seen a lot of items already, so I'm going to do a quick item recap of what I know. I might have missed marking something, so let me know if you know of anything I missed. But Roger. in level 1, we got the recorder and the magical boomerang. We don't know what's in level 2 yet, because I don't believe we found level 2 at all yet. Level 3 had the red ring. Level 4 had the power bracelet. Level 5 had the heart container. And level 6 had the wooden boomerang. The ladder item is the red candle, the armos item was the ladder, and the white sword item was the silver arrows. Yep, we have that's not the seen card. the item in 7, either item in 8, and obviously we have not been into 9 yet. Looks like Tetra's going to get this piece here in a moment. She's out of bombs, however, so that definitely doesn't feel good, even at full health. And there's the Triforce for Tetra, level 1. Yep, and over on Bob and Chris Fry's screen, we are getting close to the location of the Red Ring. Uh, it's actually in its vanilla location. The item in 3 is actually it's in an, its vanilla room and vanilla location, so it's in the bottom left side of the map. Ooh, and the plus HP keys got bobbing for fries. Ouch. Bobbing probably really liked the item here just for that red ring, just for that extra safety on level 9. Of course, he doesn't know yet that it is Red Rain. Oh, of course. And I don't know about you, but at this point, with the number of items we know, assuming both runners actually know what items are out there, which I don't believe they both know all of these items, but if I had all these items marked, uh, as soon as I had that fifth Triforce, I'm going to level 9, because there's two items inside of level 9, and a bow can potentially be there. Oh, of course. Because by my count, we're missing four items outside of nine and two items in nine. So the chances of it being there is pretty good, I would think. No, of course. I mean, wow, Blue Gorilla is not being nice.
and Gorillas are a tough, tough enemy to fight when you have Green Tunic. Because if they hit you with the Boomerang, they're going to do one damage. And there's the Red Ring for bobbing. So now both runners have Red Ring. So now... Uh, Bobbing for Surprise, of course, has an extra heart container, but they're both able to take about the same amount of damage. Well, like Megas bring up a chat, even if you don't find the item in 9, just know where Ganon and Zelda is a 9, and knowing that it's not there is going to be crucial, possibly. Oh yeah, definitely. Nice clock for Ketra there. Because when you're fighting Dark Nuts, even the red ones, it it's a lot of help when you, they don't move around on you. And yeah, right now Bobby's definitely going to be feeling the pressure because you know, on average in this tournament, people are usually in 9 by that hour mark. That's right, we've had a lot of sub-hour races, and a lot that are just over the hour mark. Oh, and the pose of eight. Level 8. Tetra is now pretty much officially in go mode at this point, just has to get those Triforce pieces. So our blue wizards are blocking everything this seed. Wow, this has definitely not been a kind seed for the combat. This is definitely a seed where it's a good thing to have the red ring. And there's level 4 for Bond for Cry. I think we saw it earlier. Yeah, we did. Alright, because that's where the power bracelet is. Touch for trying to take down this Gleok. And of course, we know that the item, or the Triforce in this level is Goma blocked. One screen left to start. But Tetra yeah. did not find the compass. It'd be it. I would not be surprised to see Tetra make a return for that Goma block if she knows about it. Right, but I don't think she does, because I don't think she got the compass. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering as well. If she did get it, I missed it blinking on the screen. Yeah, same. Bobbing still diving Palace 4 here. And I have to agree with what Meg said in chat. Uh, it's going to be ha ha hard for somebody to decide to return to level 8 when they've already been in there previously. And Bobbing finding a very nasty room full of blue whiz robes. Yep, and it looks like it's a tea room. Yet it is. For some reason, level 4 tends to get a map in the tea room, even though it's a randomized game. Like, I've seen that in a lot of seeds I've watched. And that's correct, Wandering Keeper. I will be surprised if, uh, Bobbing for Fries goes back to 8 anytime soon because he knows the Triforce is Goma blocked and he saw the Blue Wizard uh, item staircase. Of course, what he didn't know is that that item staircase is where the bow is. Yeah, but having the Red Ring now, it's very possible to just tank the damage through if he has the health. Right. And if it turns out that he can't get to all the Triforces, which I don't know what else would be blocking it. Would be about the only way I see him going back is he needs he figures out he needs the bow to be able to get five triforces. Tetros has a ton of money to start pulling that bow out if they so choose. Oh, and a nice triforce. Tetra. That's four triforces now. Looks like Bobbing's going to start making a play here, hopefully for this staircase. Nope. I'm not sure what Bobbing is looking for, because he already has the item out of four. Unless he forgot that he got it, but he didn't check that staircase. 
Yeah, but you just went right by it, so I'm wondering as well. Oh, you know what? I'm looking at the wrong dot on his screen. The Triforce is down near the bottom of four. Ah, uh, yep, there we go. So that would be a nice pickup for him at this point. And Tetra is also in four. Looks like they have the northeast entry point. That dot has gotten me many a times where I misread which dot was which. Oh, hi, Gliok. Maybe... nope. And it's just sitting on the floor. So there's the second Triforce for bobbing. Being 56 minutes in, I'm sure he's healing the pressure right now, only having two Triforces. Oh, no doubt. Tetra's got four right on the verge. Oh, and Tetra now knows where that Triforce is in four, and as we know, it's just on the floor, so it's just pretty much a nice, quick run. Yep, it's just a matter of getting down there. I'll be curious if Tetra actually goes and looks for the item, but apparently looking like it, possibly? Well, she's gonna go right past it, so... There's the power bracelet for Tetra, of course, we know that's not required at all. And actually, she knows, should probably know that by now, because I believe she's seen level 9. Because if I remember right, uh, level 9 was in the open cave, one screen north, one screen right, of vanilla level 8. That bombing is sitting there on the coast. Probably looks like he's checking the coat. Was checking the coast locations. Ouch! That door charge. Not a, the nicest room that Tetris just walked into here. That's that tea room that we saw earlier. A nice ladder clip by Tetra there. Let's see if she can get out. There we go. Now one thing you'll note is even though there was a tea room there and that Tetra ladder clipped through it, uh, the way this, the randomizer works, you're never required to do a clip like that. So there's always a way around a tea room if you have to go through that room. And Tetra will pick this Triforce up and we'll probably see level 9 here in just a moment. Trying to get bombs from the red, red whiz robes. Now, consider what we know, I'm actually wondering will White Sword actually be just in sitting in nine? It could be. It's not unusual for White Sword to end up in level 9 when an important item isn't there. And to answer Jay Coper's question in chat, uh, it looks like a Pentaforce, but I don't know if it's intended to be anything other than that. And it looks like Bobbing is trying to do the ladder clip over in level 5. Nicely done. So far, it's looking like it might be an easier, an easier enemy set in 9. Yeah, so this might go very quickly if we can find Zelda and Ganon relatively fast, but so far, not 
the case. But unfortunately for Tetra, she does not have that any key. Right, but the only good thing is level 9 generally will have a lot of keys in it. For some reason, the randomizer tends to put a lot of keys in 9, but that doesn't always happen. And as Leslie Pro pointed out, she does not have the book, uh, so she won't understand the hints in level nine. Which in level nine, what we're looking for is we're listen looking and listening for the roar of Ganon, which you will have a uh, you'll be able to hear it uh, from any room that's connected as long as it's left, right, top, or bottom. And then the other thing we're looking for is a shutter door that does not open. Because if we find a shutter door that does not open, that will be Zelda or whatever sprite happens to be in Zelda's spot right now. But if you have a... I mentioned about the roar of Ganon. Uh, you will not be... You won't... Most people won't hear the roar of Ganon. Some people are able to hear the quick part of it before Patcha starts roaring. And to answer the question by Jay Coper, why not using that wand? As far as I know, Tetra has not picked up the wand. Oh, you've probably seen the silver arrows. Um, that might have been the meat. But yeah, I'm the drumstick. Sure. Yeah, the drumstick. Yeah, I believe that's the main. Yeah, the raft being a nine, very interesting. Uh, transfer staircases abound, of course, in level 9. Right. As we mentioned earlier, there is six transport staircases in level 9, plus the two item staircases, for a total of 14 staircases. Unfortunately, all those old and man hints are not useful without that book. That's correct. And I know at this point, with the way most of these seeds have gone in this tournament, even being in 9, I'm sure Tetra is worried about where that when that dot done is going to come. Of course, we know Bobbing is not in level 9 yet, but as a runner, you don't know where your opponent actually is. Yeah, so it's definitely starting to eat away at the person their confidence and so on. And the heart container for bobbing. He is now actually at the minimum number of heart containers that the magical sword might require. I'll be surprised if we see him go back for it, but it's possible he might go try it. And of course, magical sword is randomized from 10 to 14 hearts. Like Leslie pointed out in chat, it's a 20% chance for that pickup. And a majority of runners will generally not go out of their way to uh, pick up the magical sword. Usually if it's on your route on your way to another level or to level 9, you're going to check it. But unless you have 14 hearts, you're not generally going to go out of your way to get it unless it's been a very rough uh, combat seat. It looks like transport staircases are going to be required to get over to the uh, western side. And there's Triforce from level 5 for bobbing. So he's up to 3 now, needs 2 more before he can get into 9, and he still has to get the bow out of 8, although he doesn't know that yet. 
Yeah, that's definitely gonna... I'm really gonna be curious if he decides to go back to A, because as you said, it is Goma blocked. Right, and him knowing it's Goma blocked, and we know there's at least five Triforces besides level 8 that you can get, it's not a guarantee he'll ever make it back to level 8. And as Wandering Keeper pointed out in chat, Tetra is running low on bombs. Just use her last bomb to open that bomb hole. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see if she decides to start using transfer staircases or not. I don't know about you, but me personally, when I'm going into level 9, if I'm still looking for an item like the bow or the silvers, I'm gonna take every transport staircase. Be oh, able to pull and we out can hear once. But if I haven't, if I have all the items I need, I'm generally gonna try and get all the bomb locations and everything out of the way first. Petra got bombs, and we can hear Ganon. Unfortunately, Tetra's very low on health, but I believe she has a potion on her still, so... And here we go, possibly. Now, she had been in the room next to that, so... I think Ganon has to be to the left of that staircase. Yep, and no more bombs, unfortunately, for Tetra. Unless, of course, there was a Patra in one of those rooms that we had missed. Oh, oh covering the sound. Yeah, this is definitely not... It's got to be to the north or to the left. At this point, I mean, she's got the money. It might be worth that run to the bomb shop at this point. It looks like that's what she's going to elect to do, possibly. We'll see. Nope, she is going to go ahead and try that other transfer staircase, it looks like. Yeah, 9 is not being nice today. She might be also looking for bomb-dropping enemies. But very nice, she gets some. That is one thing the randomizer does do, is there will always be some kind of enemy in every dungeon that drops bombs. But there's no guarantee you'll always be able to kill that enemy. Like, for example, sometimes you get fires and they'll be like 5 or 6 HP. And unless you have Magical Sword and Wand, you can't really kill them. Yes, that is correct. I mean, the, the only good news is Tetra was able to get that bomb drop, so hopefully she'll be able to break into Ganon's room, and if so, hopefully Zelda won't be too far behind. Or, as we were saying, whatever sprite. It could be possibly Link. And no mags. 10 hearts for Magical Sword. Uh, the bow Jay Coper was an 8, and unfortunately Bobbing went into 8, but saw it was Gummel Block for the Triforce, and left. Yeah, the bow in level 8 was blocked by, I don't know if it was 6 or 8, but it was wi Blue Wizards in a Spiral Staircase. And Magical Key was in... Oh, I don't have that marked on my tracker. Where was that? Was that the item in 7? I think it was. It could have been the item in 7. Tetra moving quite smoothly back over there, so let's see if we see the piggy. So... Possibilities are winding down where he is. So at Bobbing's this point, still struggling. The only we're only missing three items. We haven't seen the wand, we haven't seen the white sword, and we haven't seen the book. One of those three items is gonna be in level two, one will be in level eight, and one's gonna be in level nine. And of course we never found level two. Do we hear the pig here? Yes we do. Here we um, go. Meg is pointing out the magic was the other item in eight. That's right, I forgot about that. Now let's see if Tetra can get that stun lock going. Very nice on the potion. And thankfully it's just a black background room and not like a Chevy room or NSU room. Yeah, 
very easy room to fight him in. Game's not having none of that today, though. Alright, here we go. Yep, alright, we have bacon. And now we just gotta find where Zelda is, and there's the wand in seven. Seven. Alright, so yeah, now we just have to find Zelda. I don't believe we've seen Zelda's door yet. Yeah, I don't believe we have either. If we did, it was one that the room wasn't cleared in, and I would be oh, surprised hello. if Petra had left a room with a shutter door. That is not a nice room, and a Triforce in level 7 for bobbing. Now I'm really Technic curious, will he go to 8? Yeah, technically bobbing is not out of this race yet because we don't know where Zelda's gonna be. But, because especially because Tetra is out of keys right now. But, she already has Ganon dead, so it's just a matter of finding the right room. And I believe she's explored most of 9. Yeah, I would have to see her pause menu, but I think you're right that she's explored most of it. And she still does have two bombs at this point. That key door, ouch. Looks like bobbing is going back into level one. Probably just desperately trying to get into nine. Oh, hello, Patra. And with a key door, that's not nice. At least there's a bomb hole, though. Yeah, but now she's down to one bomb, so this could get interesting. Oh, there's a key. And Leslie Pro in chat is asking about doing a Kanana key. In order to do a Kanana key, you have to have a shutter door in the room as well as the key door. And then the key to that is you have to kill all the enemies, and have the last kill be where, where you're right by the key door, but you go through it as the shutter door is opening, and you can't have any keys to be able to do that. Oh, very good. Quick touch got the bomb off, let's see what we got. And Bobbing has found the magical boomerang, and I'm sure he's not very happy about that one. Yeah, I definitely would not be very happy about that. Yeah, Tetra being down to one key, this is not got to feel good at this point. And I'm really going to be surprised, especially realizing now that the magical key was in 8. I'll be really surprised if Bobbing for Fries goes back to 8 before we go into level 9. I got a feeling because, yeah, he's going to head straight for 9. Right, because he knows the Triforce is Goma Block. And he already has one of the two items out of eight. So unless no he finds the book and finds a hint saying that the bow is in eight, that's the only way I see him going back to eight. No bombs left for bombing for fries or his ropes either, so it's definitely not fun to have to fight him with just a sword. Oh, man, the Triforce pick up for bobbing, so yeah, it looks like he's headed for nine. Uh, yeah, that's his fifth Triforce, so... Tetra's still on the search for Zelda. Of course, these blackout rooms are not helping any for for getting through level 9. Yeah, Tetra might have to leave her bombs so if she can't get a drop. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Up. Oh, uh, was that the Zelda room? It could be, let's see. Nope. Yeah, still has stairs they were right in chat. Yeah, C note fifty eight in chat asked another skull room. No, it was just going through the same room again. That room only appears once per seed. At least it's only supposed to appear once per seed. Let's see if this is where we need to go. Well, that shutter door did not open, so that is not Zelda. 
Could be the way on there, and oh, hey, nice key pick up here. Tetris gotta be happy to find that key at this point, considering no keys. I would imagine she's gonna kill off this room and check this push block. Nothing to lose at this point. And a transfer staircase, of course. I'm guessing she was hoping it was going to be the other item and it would be the book. Yes. Uh, oh, other. Might have Zelda here? No. No, uh, to the left. And Bob and Kirk Rise is in level 9 now. Yep, we'll see how this goes for bobbing. And there's the open door. Yep, this should be it. Here so we go! With that, get your GG's out in chat for Tetra Lee, who has finished with an official SRL time of 1 hour, 16 minutes, and 16 seconds. Bobbing's still pushing through level 9 at a pretty good clip. We and never we'll saw what the other item was. Yeah, we haven't seen the other item in 9. We'll see if we can get Tetra in here for a chat. Uh, in the meantime, Bobbing ho needs to hope that he finds like the book and gets the hint right away. Or no, there is no hint for Bob. I was going to say gets the hint right away that Bo isn't in 9, but there's no hint for that. That's the silver that's a hint in there. Yes, that is correct. That's why if you're going to go in with bows or silvers in an eye, one or the other, I'd prefer to have the bow on hand. Curious to me that Bobby picked up the raft, but hey, why not? Well, at this point, there's still a missing level, so for all he knows, he could end up needing that that raft to get the boat. Yeah, very true. The possibility is quite low because there's only two spots. But actually, he only has one spot that would be raft block because one of them was one of the any roads. Oh, you're right. That's correct. But when you still have an item to find. It doesn't hurt to grab it, because it could end up being that you need it. Of course, we know that he doesn't, but he doesn't know that yet. No, oh, but of course. I don't think he's heard Ganon yet. He should hear soon if he keeps heading down towards the left and the south. And with that sound, I believe we have Tetra Lee in our chat. GG, Tetra. GG, Garion. So how do you feel about that seed? Ooh, uh, I have to say, um, getting through level one with all those whiz robes uh, definitely made me feel a little bit more confident in the rest of the seed. But uh, yeah, I guess it was pretty lucky because I didn't really dig more levels than I had to. Um, I hope uh, for his sake, uh, bobbing for fries isn't too stuck finding any of the key items. Well, he did not get the bow out of eight, and he is in level nine right now. Oh no! Shoot, that sucks. Yeah, he got magical key out of level eight, and then found that the triforce was goma blocked, and left level eight. Oh no, that sucks. Oh well, I'm sure he'll figure it out eventually. But it goes to show you how. You know, if that bow had been in one of the levels he dug, but I didn't, uh, it could have gone a completely different way. So, uh, GG, uh, that's the way the randomizer goes sometimes. Yep. And we were worried about when we had seen the wizard robes in that spiral staircase where the bow was, 
we were worried that that was going to be the bow, and then you ended up getting through there to find it, and it was indeed the bow. Yeah, oh, oh boy, all those Wizrobes. <laughs> yeah, it felt like Wizrobes were blocking everything this seat. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, in level 1 they were blocking the magic boomerang, which you could do without, but after all the uh, potions and bombs and tank moding that went into it, I was picking up whatever that was, I didn't care. <laughs> And we still haven't seen what the second item is in 9, but it looks like Bobbing is leaving because he's out of bombs. So I'm not sure if he's actually going to go try other dungeons, or if he's just looking for bombs. Yeah, I'm very curious to find that out too. Hopefully he dies back to level 8. Yeah, and speaking of bombs, 40 rupee bombs? Are you kidding me, game? Yeah, that, yeah, was, that was not nice. A little expensive. Only good thing was there was lots of money in this seat. Yeah, and there were a lot of uh, blue moblins that I could grind for uh, bombs, so that wasn't so bad, but gosh, um, I don't know if Rookie was watching, but if she was in the audience, she would not be happy, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely not Rookie-approved bombs. Oh no. Uh, did you folks have any questions about the way I played or decisions I made? No, all your decisions actually seem to be pretty spot on. I wasn't really wondering where you were going or what you were doing at any point, really. Yeah, once I got through level one, which I was determined to get to just because, you know, I had the red ring and, you know, I, I could afford to tank mode through those wizards. If I hadn't found that red ring in three relatively early, this would have been a very different seed, I'll tell you. But um, once I did that, I kind of looked at my overworld map and realized, well, I could go 6 to 4 to 9 and get my last two Tringles provided that, well, I didn't even need to worry that they were ladder blocked at the time. And it just sort of, you know, one led to the other and uh, the rest was history. Yeah, and with you already having a bow, I don't think there was anything that could have blocked you in any of those dungeons. Because you had the recorder, you had the bow, so I don't think there was any enemies left that could have blocked it other than just massive amount of combat. Yeah, and, well, there was definitely a fair amount of that. Fortunately, no wizards in level 9, but, uh, that would have made it even more fun. But by the time you have the arrows and you can, uh, just knock out, you know, Gibdos and Pulse Voice, uh, one-shot them, um, it wasn't so, so bad. It was definitely a little bit of an effort getting to the, uh, western part of the level to find Ganon and, uh, Princess Zelda, but... Um, yeah, it was, uh, the seed could have gone a lot worse than it did, I'll tell you, even with all that wizard combat. Yeah, and it did seem like in level 9 you did have some issues with keys and bombs, but it ended up working out for you. Yeah, I was thinking if at that rate I was going to have to, you know, resort to banana keys or leave for to grind bombs again, but fortunately it didn't, um... It didn't really come to that, so I, I guess I just got lucky and managed my resources well. Yeah, so now you're 2-0, and oh, so how do you feel about going into next week's match? Well, you know, I'm going to try to look at it positively and that I'm not in the 1-1 bracket with Saver and um, some of the other uh, uh, really good players that are in that 1-1 match. Um, I don't know exactly who's 2 and 0 yet, I haven't looked, but I probably don't want to know, um, just because I have a feeling it's going to be uh, just a hunch that it's going to be one that I uh, will not have the uh, advantage in, let's just say. Yeah, I'm not really too sure of who all is 2 and 0. I know Random Effect is only because I lost to him this week, but other than that, I'm not too sure who all has made it into the 2 and 0 bracket already. Yeah, that's not very reassuring. But, you know, even if, um, you know, it turns out to be um, a really tough match, I still, I think at this point I really just need to win one of the last three and um, I'll have three wins. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely a relief to be in a very good spot going into the last couple of weeks of the Swiss rounds. Yep. And... It looks like Bobbing Her Prize has decided to forfeit. So get your 
GG's out in chat for lobbying for fries for the effort he put into this race. Aw, that's too bad, but you know, I can understand if, you know, with the wizards guarding the bow like that, even if you don't have to kill them. If... Did he get the ring at least? Yes, he had the red ring. Oh, good, good, good. Well, yeah, still even there, you have to really be uh, whizzing past the wizards in order to tank all of them. And as you mentioned about the three wins, I'm not completely sure if it's a definite, but I believe three wins is enough to get you into the bracket flag. So you only need one win over the next three weeks to get in. Oh, well, uh, I, I, I mean, the other thing I really should point out is that relatively speaking, I got relatively lucky in terms of the opponents I drew that neither of them were like on, you know, the top, top levels and stuff. So um, I, I do just want to call out that that it plays a large part in it as well, particularly since I did not get as lucky with opponents in the last tournament as I did this time. So, uh, but yeah, it, it, it happens. That's, that's random number RNG and randomizers for you. Yeah, and but really, even if you find one of the better players, anybody can win with this flag set. All it takes is one wrong or one right turn, and anybody can go down. Yep, that is true. So I'll definitely give it my best next week. Uh, yeah. Let's see, can we get Bobbing for prize in for an interview? It looks like he'll be here soon. So, um, but yeah, happy to answer any more questions you have. Uh, I don't think I really have too, too much more to say about this seed. Um, definitely, you know, was pretty good, all things considered. The wizard of combat I could have dealt without, but, you know, everything else seemed to be, you know, pretty good, so uh, all things considered. Uh, Aerodyne, do you have any more questions? Not off the top of my head, I just sent an invite to Bobby to see if he wants to do an interview or not. I'm just waiting on a response. Yep, he already said in IRC he's loading Discord. His computer's being difficult. Ah, oh, no, not a problem. So while we're waiting on Bobbing for Fries to come in here, uh, I wanted to go over our schedule for tomorrow. With the tournament, we have a race at two, uh, yeah, two o'clock Eastern on Speed Gaming Five between Cantaloupe Me and OPT Lawyer, and then at four o'clock we have Bent Glass Two versus Jam Evil, which at this time we don't have a channel for it, but I'm sure that will be announced sometime tomorrow. So be sure to check out the schedule for more races. We have a two more, three or more after that tomorrow night, and then it looks like we got three on Sunday to finish out this week of Swiss. That'd be correct. Uh, yeah, Bobby looks like he's trying to make his way back on, so we'll give him a minute. In the meantime, I'll tell you what my SRL comment for this race is. Skyroot, 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 which is, uh, uh, please, if you have that one, spam it in the chat, because that's the little wizard icon with the word root on it. So, uh... That, that that would be a lot of the seed right there. Oh, that I will agree. I felt so bad watching you dive into one and seeing all those Wiz robes and I was just like, oh boy, Wiz robe firing squads everywhere. Yeah, but you know, I look at it as sort of a uh, Baron versus Goliath type of thing where, you know, you, you get the right equipment and I definitely took, you know, a good two or three minutes to go, you know, get my potions, restock on bombs, fill up at the fairy fountain, up a save, and you know, all that, and like really go in prepared. Um, you know, they're, they're doable. Yeah, and actually, when you found that blue boomerang, I was actually expecting you to do a up a and then retry to then have both potions for the other blue wizard bite, but you decided to go ahead and pick it up anyway. Yeah, I suppose I could have done that. I think what I was thinking at the time was, no, no, no. I, I worked my rear end off for that uh, that boomerang. I'm picking it up, and I'm going to probably not use it much. But, you know, it's it was the product of my hard effort, so I was going to be proud of it. 
And here we have Bobbing for Fries. Hello, Bobbing. Good game, Bobbing. Maybe push to talk issues? Uh, quite possible. So while we're waiting for Bobbing for Fries to be able to figure out why he's his mic isn't working, uh, Aerodyne and I were talking early on in the seed when we saw all the money in the seed that we were thinking it was going to be a seed where somebody was probably going to buy a blue ring before we ended up finding out where red ring was. Were you thinking about blue ring before you found that red ring? Uh, yeah, I definitely was, particularly with all the pulse voices and other things I was struggling with early in the game. Uh, particularly since I was struggling a little in combat in 3, I, I was sort of figuring if this was something not as good as the ring, I was going to need to save up my money, especially with it being a relatively money rich seed and get a blue ring but uh you know fortunately when i saw my red uh ring or guardian acorn as it is in my uh sprite set i was doing a little dance and really uh really relieved uh bobbing do we have you in here now i hope so can you hear me yes we can hear you gg sir Thank you, thank you. I'm I win or lose, I'm glad that's over. <laughs> that's two of us. <laughs> so you have any thoughts you can share with us about that seed? Uh, that I can voice on stream. Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think everything that could have gone wrong went wrong in that. <laughs> that was uh, that was frustrating. <laughs> That's pretty much the long and the short of it. Yeah, so you didn't find it, but the bow was in that spiral staircase in level eight with all the wizards. Uh, yeah, I I don't know if you saw, but I considered after I after I tanked in uh, in one there and got through those two wizro rooms pretty well, and I got my fifth triforce. I considered going back to eight and getting that uh, out of the spiral, but as it turned out, the way I was digging nine, it wouldn't have mattered anyways. I would I would have found it just in time to lose. So now you're going to be one and one going into next week. How do you feel about that? Well, I feel okay about it. I mean, uh, I'm not uh, I'm not top tier so far as uh, my combat goes. And uh, when it comes to these randomizers, you never know if you're going to get these, you know, eight four-headed Gleox in the seat or <laughs> pulls voices in every room or every room with six blue Riz robes. So uh, <laughs> any seat could be like this one. And uh uh, you know, I'm I'm hoping to you know get a shot at the bracket, and uh, you know, I'm still in good shape to do that. So I don't believe. Do we have any more questions at all, Gary? Right now, any final thoughts from Bobby and or Tetra? Yeah, I just wanted to um, thank and give you a shout out um, to the uh, commentators, the tracker, um, and also Speed Gaming for hosting and restreaming, and everyone else who uh, made the tournament possible. Um, it's been a lot of fun so far, and uh, really honored to be able to participate. Alrighty, then, so I guess that pretty much wraps us up. I'm Aerodyne X. Uh, joining me was Garion for co commentary. Our tracker was I'm Sock. And if there's nothing else that Garion wants to add, I think we're ready to roll for the night. Yep, only thing I'm going to add is be sure to give our runners a follow. They both put on a good show for us. And be sure to give my commentary partner, Aerodyne, a follow, as well as our tracker, I'm a Sock. Uh, with that, thanks for joining us, everybody, and we'll see you soon. And also, thank you, Speed Gaming, for the restream, and have a very good night, everyone.